Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to our RimWorld Vikings playthrough. When we last left off, our little band had fought off the Imperium of God, taken on some uh, new friends, and, you know, life is... Well, life is going pretty much the way one would expect in our little Viking community. And now we've got a manhunting pack of red foxes. You know, I never actually assigned you to a spot, did I? Let's do something about that now. Actually kind of impressed with the amount of meat that we've stocked up. So that's pretty handy. And you know what? Let's uh Let's keep making more compost because it's kind of stacking up at this point. And that's less ideal. 355 is probably good enough there. We'll just fiddle with that. There we go. All right, now save your position. Those foxes are still making their way over, right? <laughs> It'll take them a while because, of course, it is the middle of winter. Where is the deserter stash, anyway? It is right there. And it has only one enemy. We can bring some stuff to trade over here with uh, the Stjaller Fort of the Orhalter Kingdom. Well, that's good. And meanwhile, you're just resting. When you can get up, I do want you to grab that Danax. Oh dear, we've only taken out one? You guys really that bad at shooting? The answer is apparently yes. And you know what? I think... I want to make more great bows. And probably more, uh, more primitive ammo. 130 wood. 130 wood. Well, we have, you know what? We have a lot of... Primitive explosive ammo. Interesting. But yeah, we mostly... I made good on my word. I said we were going to, we were going to play with, uh, I do have great bows, don't I? I don't, apparently. We're researching great bows now. There's always, careful there, Botto. There's always a little bit of a, a risk. Oh dear. Is that, is that good? I think so. All right, back to work, everyone. But uh, I just want to, before we go, I want to quickly take a look at that armor penetration. So you've got 21%. You've got 16%. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> but uh, 15%. And you, 30 Okay, so the crossbows have the better penetration. And the recurve bow also has really good penetration. But... Yeah. The range. That's always the hard part. You know, eventually I think what I should do is I should build some heavy bridges and wall up the swamp. I think I think I've talked about doing this to begin with. Heck, we could drain the swamp a little bit, you know, give ourselves some more land to work with. Um, and another thing that would probably be handy if we actually could wall this up and then have some traps. Um, yeah, then we could in that way you know, soften up the enemy before they actually reach us. You know, that, that, it's a thing. We can do it. I mean, after all, um, in reality, you'd want to stack the odds as best you could in your own favor, so that, that's a thing. But, uh, there'll be time, I guess. Time to figure out what it is that we're doing on that particular front. 
And you know what, let's send, let's send the brothers, uh, Ragnar and Rollo, off to take care of this, and then, you know what, we'll even go after that. That's a lot of time. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. Should we take the dogs with us? We will, you know what, we will. Or the pups, because we can trade them. <clears throat> trade them. Sorry. Kind of sucking on a... Uh, Lozenge here. I uh, don't take the raw meat. That would be silly. We will instead bring, you know, as much uh, food as we can carry with us. Well, let's say 52. Seven days should be good enough. Maybe, possibly. God, we've got a lot of plant scrap just lying around. I can make fertilizer now, right? Yeah, we've got compost bins. I think I'll just kind of like pile these over here. This way, hopefully, we'll have a whole bunch of fertilizer by the time we come home. Might as well haul all this marble in as well. We can get some sweet floors. Oh dear. Oh, and we got some visitors. Jolly good. Okay, so... Yeah, we've got seven days before we have to accept this. Well, we don't have to accept it, but I'd like to. And you know what? This would actually... It would almost get us out of uh, hostile range with the Imperium of God. Funny how well that worked out for us, isn't it? We're just... we're just damn good. Alright, we're gonna leave by walking down the river. I should actually consider mining out a path. Maybe. Just so we don't have to, you know, be sitting in all this. How much steel do we have lying around, by the way? I want to keep an eye on that. Well, we've got a nice amount of slate, a bit of granite. Could start working on replacing walls and such. Hmm. Of course, the thing that kind of bothers me, just a tiny bit, is that walls don't have any beauty associated with them. And I don't think, barring mods, there's a way to do that. I know um, with Vanilla Expanded, there's like some kind of wallpaper thing, but it, that only works with uh, wood. Wood and wallpaper, and that's that just... I don't want a flammable base. You know, we're, we're lucky to begin with that this isn't a fire hazard. And suddenly, I want to make sure that these are not designated as gathering spots. And just a quick check, make sure that everyone's doing their thing. Animals are unrestricted, so they can keep wandering around. Alright. Oh dear. Kind of keeps going back and forth, doesn't it? <laughs> Who is our best, um... Chef, anyway. I guess it's half Dan, but I don't really want him doing that. Uh, Anos. Anos Usk? Yusuke? However I pronounce that name. Let's uh, just start cooking, shall we? You're a delinquent and a military cook. You're also lazy. Oh, and you're a night owl, so I should actually um just notice that. Let's have you go on the night shift. There we are. And I'm actually going to move your meditation hour back. And maybe, a, maybe something like this. And you go to bed at 18. Or you get up. Well, I guess I should have, no, no, no. Here's the idea. I'll have you get up at 1800 hours. 
recreation for two hours before you go to bed. There we are. So it's basically the same pattern as this when we just kind of swap it. All right. Yeah. Salted stuff works much better that way. Got this whole stack here. But the handy thing is since we're, um... Oh, come on, take... Take the meat that's gonna decay first. Come on. I mean, you literally don't have to leave where you're standing. Yeah, look at that. It's even much more efficient. And it's all rotted. <laughs> Hypothermia. Yeah, stay, stay somewhere where it's nice and warm. That is good. Could you, uh, could you not? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, you know, how do you stay indoors? But, if you want to help and do something useful, you could assist building over here. You're just going to keep walking back and forth between existing... God, it's minus 45 degrees out here. Is everyone, uh, yeah, everyone is having some problems here. And it will likely stay that way for the foreseeable future. Oh yeah, I never did get around to, we, okay, so we have no steel, basically. That's, uh, well, I do have it as a, as a job here, just no one's working on it right now. But what's Half Dan doing? You're meditating. When you're done, you mind uh, smithing? You can't possibly screw that up. Alright, good. It looks like we're reaching a bit of a point of equilibrium there. What? Never heard back from his delegation. I didn't do anything to your delegation. What happened? I see no bodies. Well, how is this my fault? Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's kind of what you get for walking in a frozen river in the middle of winter when it's minus 37 degrees out. Like, as someone who, uh, oop, don't do that. As someone who has grown up in a frozen environment, I think I, <laughs> is there, there's someone else who's up and about, really, did you guys just, you wandered over to, oh, nice, free bows. <laughs> And arrows. Um, okay. I mean, I guess I should probably have some kind of temperature increasing thing here. At least it's seven, ten. You guys do, oh, you're hooking up, are you? Well, well. Actually, are you good at construction? Is there a reason? Yeah, six is good enough. I should I kind of prioritize that? Of course, Half Dan is our better constructor, but he is old and has dementia, so it might not be might not be in his best interest to do that. Okay, they've. What's the age difference on these guys anyway? Twenty-three and nine. Yeah, you know that's that's an acceptable age difference. It's not weird. You know what? You can also, uh, change your, your hairstyle when you're done. You should get yourself a nice beard. You know what? I can kind of dig that. You know what? That's actually better, though. You seem like you're, just based on your armor, you seem like you're that kind of guy. 
What is your backstory? You're a tribe child. Oh, you're a tribal. You know what, though? You're dressed like a medieval knight. Well, maybe not a knight, but you're dressed up as something, okay? So, yeah. Do what ye will. Man, we've got a lot of meat lying around. So much meat. Beautiful in a way. The only unfortunate thing is that salted meat doesn't stack as high as non-salted meat. But, you know what? That's that's sometimes just how life goes, isn't it? How are we doing on that steel front? There we go, that's the good stuff. You know what? I do kind of want to smooth these walls, but then again, I would kind of like to have them be consistent, so maybe I will just tear the walls down and put artificial stuff. It's funny how uh, smooth granite has a beauty, but again, constructed walls does not. And I'll be honest with you, that's kind of annoying. I don't like that. <laughs> Let's see, so it'll take four days and then eight days. So at the general rate of movement, I don't think Ragnar and Rollo are going to get back in time to participate in the fight. So hopefully these guys can do a good job. Oh, and someone's actually taken care of. Am I allowing ammo to be stored in here? Because if not, I, I really should. Alright, so let's have Mr. equip this great bow as a sidearm. And you already have some weapons. You're going to eventually run out. And I'm pretty sure... Special weapons, explosive... What is a primitive explosive? Oh wait, I can, I can actually make industrial ammo. Now why am I allowed to do that? Surely... Surely there should be some tech limitation on that. Like... Well, I'll be honest with you, I have no, uh... I have no technical knowledge of how firearms or bullets are made. I mean, I know that they're like, a little piece of metal and you got like your modern firearms. There's like a shell and they've got like a little bit of powder in there. And then what triggers them is like the hammer of the gun like hits the, uh, the thing. There's a name for it. You can tell I totally don't know anything about guns, but you know, like the hammer Hammer's the little... I think I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> or firing pin? Is that the term? Whatever it is, the little thing that hits like the back of the bullet or shell or casing, cartridge, whatever. And then that like triggers uh, a spark, which causes the bullet to fire because it ignites the powder. And then propels the bullet out of the barrel towards the thing you want to die. Or inanimate object you're shooting at for fun. And, uh, modern weapons, the, the action of all that also ejects the, the spent casing. Or empty cartridge or what have you. Yeah. It, it does something, is what it does. And, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think to myself, like, how would a modern, like, how would you... Would it be possible to have the knowledge to even make a modern bullet on a medieval forge? You know what, someone, uh... I, I would be interested in hearing the, the rationale and debate either way. Also, you know what, it occurs to me, I don't think we're going to have enough food to make this whole trip. But we are foraging a little, so that's kind of okay, I guess. Not super great, but it's kind of there. We might be able to buy some more. If we can sell the dogs to the, uh, the castle, then I should be able to, uh, yeah, do stuff. Anyway, I'm getting on to, uh, <laughs> other topics. Uh, Dave. Or Derf. However I pronounce this name. When you're done cleaning dirt, why are you cleaning dirt, first of all? You know what? You're not some some servant. You you do... I, I like the idea of you hauling, but work on other stuff. You can also make the ammo. Is there anything you can do different? 
The answer appears to be no, and I'm now finding myself asking why I bothered making this. Oh, no, here it is. I need a fueled smelter so I can smelt down the chunks of steel like this. You're not a night owl. Oh, you don't even have anything to do. You're researching. Oh, and we're finally, as the episode is nearly over. All right, we have arrived at the climate adjuster. You know what, actually, maybe we should just go back to our our home after this. I don't know, we'll see how things end up working out for us. Anyway, let's uh, take out these two manhunting snow hares. I mean, how hard could that be, right? They're just ordinary rabbits. Hopefully. Well, we managed to kill... We managed to kill both of them. And now we can just punch... Uh... Didn't even get hurt. There we go, we've got plate armor now. Now blades, noble apparel. Beekeeping is going to be a big one. Because... You know... It's bees, man. It's lowering the temperature by 10 degrees. We shall attack. No, no, no. With, with your swords. And by swords, I mean axe it. Rollo, why? Why do you do this to me? There we go. It's gonna take a while, but, uh... Alright, so it'll, it'll, it'll actually warm up a, a fairly reasonable amount once we take out this weather thingamajig. The climate adjuster, as they call it. Hot diggity. All right, let's get the heck out of here. And you know what? I think we will in head home initially. Because... You know, there, there's some stuff to... I don't really want to carry the snow hairs back. And yeah, we'll bring as much steel as we can. It'll take us two days to get there. My god. All right, so we're not going to be... All right, here's the plan. Shouldn't have brought the pups. It's slowing us down as well, but... We'll head here, we'll do this quest next episode, and then then we'll make the long journey over to the Imperium of God. Oh, that's going to anger them again, isn't it? <laughs> so we'll make them slightly happier, then we'll make them angry again. Classic. Classic maneuvering there. Anyway, overall, I, I have to say, it looks like our our happy little colony here is... Proving to be happy, and little, and also a colony. Oh, no, no, there we go. And then, you know, in the summer, we can just turn all this stuff off. Apparently I have no control over uh, the fueling of these wall sconces, unfortunately. But, you know what? Beyond that, a life is good. That's what matters to me at the end of the day. And we should be able to... Make uh, this kingdom a little ha- oh god, you lost a toe. But other than that, you're okay. So once you can walk again, uh, you can, you know, get out of here. And hopefully not die. Oh yeah, you're a chef too, aren't you? You know, it's nice we've got so many decent chefs. That makes me a happy man. Okay. Now, I suppose I should probably make some dressers. What is the benefit of dressers, anyway? It increases comfort by a little bit, as I recall. Comfort, 0.71. So that's what it adds, is it? How comfortable an object is to sit or... Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong... No, it's the dresser, the dresser. It does actually give stats for what it does, right? It doesn't, shockingly. I know that it, uh... Must be directly adjacent to the head of the bed. Okay, true. It is. Okay, so I'm gonna have to move these dogs a little. <laughs> Alright. Where? Do I really want to build dressers, though? The answer is yeah. Yeah, I do. Because it increases comfort, which is good. And I know there's a extended furniture option. Uh, that we clearly don't have yet, that allows us to increase the sleep effectiveness of our beds. So that's never a good thing. Need to make a proper kitchen. 
which I'll probably put in here somewhere. Got our forge. We've got our... This was actually going to be the kitchen, but now I guess it might not be. Yeah, we'll kind of... We'll have our storage in here. It also occurs to me because it's dark. I should probably build some lighting so that infestations don't spawn in here. Uh, wall sconce. Oh yeah, I gotta smooth the walls first. Right. Well, that's, uh, that's a thing we shall do, I guess. Ah, what the heck, if the walls are a little uneven, in the sense that, you know, we've got like these weird mixes, that's fine. The important thing, at the end of the day, is that we don't get horribly murdered by giant insects that destroy our our storage. So with that in mind, I will say until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking and I will see all you in the next video.